We're back for episode two, and I'm delighted to say I've had a fancy little play around with some graphics. Roll the intro. No, I won't stop. Hello, and welcome back to the hometown hero save. I am uh, Cultured Left Foot. I was about to say, I am Folks and Evictor, but I am Cultured Left Foot, and I am playing as Folks and Evictor. I'm pretty sure I, I haven't managed to sort out the kits yet. Um, 162 tickets have been sold out of a 5,000 capacity at the Ramsgate Stadium, Southwood, Ramsgate. Uh, it's going to be ref by the famous Joe Hull. We'll see how he does, how he gets on. Um, and we're pretty much going to go straight into the game. There's not too much really to discuss. This is how I think we're going to line up for the first game. Uh, Roberts in goal. Uh, Starkey, Davies, O'Mara, Madden, Everett, Hassler, Dolan, Jackson Jr., McCann and Ter Horst stand up front. We're going to try... And play fairly wide, passing into space. We've got three pretty quick players up front, hitting on the counter, higher line of engagement to get these guys further up the pitch, and then go from there and see see how we get on. So we will be watching the highlights in comprehensive um, because, well, I need to see how the formation's doing. I mean, Dickens straight away gets in. Maybe, actually, I think what we'll do is we're actually go for... We're going to go to key for the friendlies, and then when we play friendlies against the tougher teams, I'll do them incomprehensive so I can see how the formation's working. But straight away, it would suggest that Ramsgate are actually playing better than us. So um, let's demand a bit more from the guys. As uh, Wheatley plays it into Stannard. Stannard to Wheatley. Wheatley over the top, and there's a... Oh, all at sea, but Roberts makes a good save. And uh, he's offside. He was offside. We've made some... Um, Feeler sort of offers for free transfer players to see who we can get in. Now, £250 suggests it should go a long way in this division for wages, but um, the players I've gone for, not really. Ever it goes over the top looking for Tear Horse, but Wheatley clears it away. Jackson Jr. will get there. Go on, impress him, press him. Lamont back hill. Look at that, but Hassler's intercepted it. Tear Horse shoots over the bar. Johan, so close. Johan Tear Horse. Uh, we're getting back into this. Two shots to their three. Not too bad. Let's get a bit more out of them. McKenzie throws it into Steele. Steele holds it, um, holds up the ball. Chapman, McKenzie. Now, lower league football is always fun and games when you start. Everett up to Tear Horse. Can he turn and accelerate away? He tries to. He gets around his man. Johan Tear Horse hits it at Treb. It's a good save. Oh, come on, Johan. I thought you had this. This league, I thought these friendlies in this league would be right up your street. Has the ball in. Haven't set up set pieces yet either. I still need to do that as well. But um, hopefully over these friendlies I'll be able to develop a tactic that seems to work. Uh, and I think I think playing balls sort of over the defence and looking for our wingers is, is the way to go. But we'll have to wait and see. There could be a change of formation um, because the players we're signing may, may mean a tweak to a system. But we'll have to wait and see. And I thought I'd go... The, the team, reason I picked this 11 as well to start the game is because... I've gone with um, players that the assistant manager suggested should start and players that I wanted to see to see how they get on. As Terhorst is going chasing like a lunatic. Look at him go. It's uh, cleared away. Hassler with the header. Dolan picks it up. Looks out right to Jackson Jr. This is why I wanted to pass it into space. Jr. shoots. Jackson Jr. gets the first goal of my folks in a victor reign, even in a friendly. But it's a clinical counter-attack, and that's what we're trying to do. Era Jackson Jr. gets the goal. Dolan here, what a ball, and just uses his acceleration to peel off the defender who wasn't paying attention, and Jackson Jr. fires it across the goalkeeper into the bottom corner. 1-0 in Victor, which is lovely, lovely stuff. Let's make some changes as we come to the hour mark. We'll just put that on pause. Um, okay, we're going to put... We'll keep Jackson Jr. out there. He's playing well. He's on a yellow card, but it's not too bad. Um, let's bring on Nat Blakes at left back. We'll bring on Starkey off for Vincent. Uh, Davies can come off for Newman, who's not totally comfortable playing back there as a defender, but um, he'll give it a good old go, I'm sure. We're going to bring on Roland for Terhorst, and McCann will be replaced by Paxman. Um, and then we may do some other changes a little bit later on in the game. It is a friendly. We need to give... A lot of different players are run out here and see how they get on as Lawford is in behind. He squares it. Smith, oh, he's tackled very well. Steele picks it up for Ramsgate. It goes back to Friend. It's, what's interesting about playing this save, right, is we're going to be travelling around loads of shit grounds that I've probably been to, um, a few of them, and most of the time I've been through most of these train stations. So Ramsgate's an interesting one. It's uh, I think it's on the line after Folkestone 
West or uh, out of Folkestone Central, I think. So Folkestone has two lines. Dolan has made the run forward. He's in behind. Dolan shoots into the bottom corner again. And that is 2 0. And we're showing our domination here now against a, a lower Ramsgate team than us. And, but it's good to see these players who want to impress. Ter Horse heads it back to McCann. McCann over the top into Dolan. And uh, Dolan runs through and has a good mind to finish. Great left footed finish into the corner. And that. Um, is 2-0. Three shots on target, two goals we've got at the moment, and I'm going to have a celebratory polo, I think. So, there we go. Pop pop that in, which means my commentary will now be absolutely terrible, because I've got a polo in my mouth. I didn't think about that. Um, we're going to bring on Newcomb for Roberts. Newcomb is uh, the higher rated uh, the higher rated goalkeeper of, of the two, um, according to the assistant manager. We'll just put you as a central midfielder in there at the moment. Oh, I should have put on. Actually, we'll cancel that. Cancel that. Jack Evans can come on for Hassler because he actually is a central midfielder and he can play as a central midfielder on defend. That's not a problem. Oh, actually, can you play? No, you can't really play there. We'll leave you two as it is because Everett's actually having a decent game in the holding midfield. It's it's not a position he can play ultimately comfortably, but um, he is doing okay out there. 72 minutes gone. Paxman. Fires in the corner, it's cleared away at the near post, and Bullman puts his foot through it up to Carvalho. Doesn't sound like a name you'd commonly get in Ramsgate, but uh, his shot goes past the post and we don't have too much to worry about. It's a game we've sort of dominated, we've grown into it really well. And uh, yeah, Nolan and Jackson vying for man of the match at the moment with five minutes to go. Not too long left. Have we got someone to give someone four minutes for a run out? Um, let's bring on Scott Hurd for Jackson out on that wing um, and we'll go from there so Dolan will probably get man the match for playing the full game but in the last minute corner comes in are we going to get the clean sheet we are because uh, Blank, Blanks keeps it off the line it comes down oh it's over the post oh it's not a it's not a clean sheet Hawkins has got them the goal in the last few seconds of injury time and uh, you can see here Shimmel was off the line from Blanks Bullman laid it back Steele put it back across it came all the way to Schimmel, who had a great volley off the bar, and then Hawkins puts it past the helpless Newcomb, as the folks in Invicta defence weren't really anywhere to be seen after it hit the bar. But a good performance, I'm happy. Um, it was delightful. It was delightful. I didn't expect that in our first game. But uh, next up, Billericay Town, but we'll probably do all of the friendlies now offline, and uh, we'll come back for the first league game of the season. But we're going to stick with it, see if they get any, any transfer news. And uh, I've gone... Done transfers by some stats, player history, and uh, recommendations by Neil Cugley, our director of football. Great. So it's con over the concerns over the wage budget. Um, we said we had. Wait, hang on a minute. Oh, okay. Yeah, we've actually committed quite a lot. Oh, wages from contracts offered. Yeah, that's why. Okay. Um, but yeah, this will change to 0% when 2 million has been received from player sales this season. Well, I highly doubt that's going to happen. So let's um, let's stick with it and see if we get anybody come in. As, uh, oh, Rude has a little bark. Hang on a minute. Go and check that out. Hello, I'm back. Sorry about that. Um, Rude had knocked a tennis ball under the sofa and he wanted someone to get it for him. So he barked. Um... But yeah, right, so I can't remember what I was talking about, but we've made some bids for people, so let's see if we get any, um, well, an update on any of this. So Guildford Keen on something Vincent. I don't really want Vincent to leave. He is, he's wanted by 35 clubs. Wow, that's a lot of clubs. Um, hopefully he won't be going anywhere. I'll be trying to predict that. Oh, a trial day. Yes, let's... Due to friendly against trialist team on the on this day, you'll be able to attend your trial day yourself. Okay. Let's have a look. Um, trialist team one. Anyone here that's of a good pedigree? Rochdale and Droylsden. Uh, we need a holding midfielder. Amos Nash. Once of West Ham. Dover. Dartford. So it would have been around this area. Well, we'll let the scout, we'll let Roland Edge go and uh, have a little look. We've got an auto save going on, which is always good fun. Always remember to auto save people and do backups because if you lose the game, that would be really, really annoying. But if you are new here, oh, Rude is my dog, by the way, if people are new here, um, please do hit the subscribe button. Stick around. We're going to be doing this as a long term save. It'll probably go for the whole entire length of um, Football Manager 2020. Now, ah. Oh, 
Mokina is a centre back that we've made a bid for, but he's also now had bids from Sudbury, Conkle, Rangers, and Farnborough, who are bigger than us. Uh, Siu rejected the offer from us and has agreed to move to Karlstun. Karls Halton? Karls Halton? Something like that. They are in the same division as us, but he's picked them over us. What a bell end. That's really annoying. He came from Southampton's youth product, and that's like youth academy. And I didn't can't see his stats, but that's how that's how I judged him to be pretty good. So that's annoying because he was going to be a very good right back for us. But no worries, no worries. We've we're pretty good at right back to be honest. Um, I'm pretty sure though that if that oh we've got people, we've got people. England, England. We're signing the whole of England. Um, so Chelmsford City signed Stedman. Oh, he rejected our offer as well. That's annoying. He had pedigree of Bournemouth. Um, a scouting meeting. Okay, I'll go and jump into that in a minute. England. So Harry England. Physio Abby Wynn Stanley has given Harry England a clean bill of health. £80 a week. Come on down, you 18-year-old. And Spy Rides, 18-year-old forward, £150 a week. He's got a clean bill of health. And he's coming on a pretty big contract. So we will uh, have to see what happens. Lots of offers in for Joy McQueen, who is an ex-Spurs centre-back. Uh, Spurs and Watford, so he'll come with good pedigree. And uh, there you go. We signed Harry England, centre back. Not too bad. Good determination, good positioning, good heading, decent marking, tackling at this sort of level. Um, current ability, two star, lots of potential ability, which is good. And he can play holding midfielder as well. So a bit more competition for places. Comes in from Peterborough. Um, he's one that caught, sort of caught my eye when I was looking at players. We will ask Johan Terhorst to welcome him to the club. Happy to help in any way I can. Good, good. Um, and we signed Odysseus Spyrides as well, who is, well, he's got finishing four, right, as a striker, but he's pretty quick, he's got some good overall stats, decent off the ball, composure isn't too bad, dribbling's good, first touch is good, technique is good, he'll play out front alongside or in competition with Johan Terhorst, but he's come from West Ham, so we have signed a West Ham youth product, and I'm hoping he can make the deer, and we've... <laughs> We've signed Matter. Um, we're, well, we're going to be signing Matter, who we'll take a quick look at when this goes through, because then we can see all of his stats once he's our player. But uh, Matter signs for Folkestone. Would you have believed it? Would you, Adam and Eve? It? Um, yes, Yafet Matter we have signed. £20 a week. Um, another striker, but a bit of a utility all down the left. Again, quick, decent acceleration. Remember, we're playing those balls over the top. Work rate's good. Technique, passing off the ball. Decision's a bit poor. Composure and finishing are good. We may be going to a flat a flat front three. And the best thing about it is that he once used to play for um, Man United. So, he's Congolese. He's got no caps. He's 21. Uh, we'll have to see how he goes. McQueen has rejected us and is going to move to St Albans, which is a shame. And uh, we've got Billericke coming up. So the annoying thing about rude barking is that I now have no idea how long this episode's been because I had to pop out and see him. As a uh, sure Nick Shaw, our experienced goalkeeper, has rejected that. We're not going to do a press conference about new signings because generally you just piss them off. But what we are going to do is do another friendly because I have no idea how long this episode's going to be. So we'll get the new boys in. Uh, and play another friendly. Maybe go for a different formation at home against Billericay. Billericay Town, which would be good. Uh, training review, I didn't really get to see that. But let's go into the match preview. And are we going to do this one? Oh, are we going to do this save? I don't know. Let's have a quick look at the new signings and see how they fit in. This is reset again. This is so annoying. Why doesn't it just stay like that? That's what I want it to show. This is what I want to see. Just stay like that. That would be wonderful. Right, let's save it. Um, export current view, I guess. Dave, that's me. I'm Dave. Good. Um, and then let's go custom, import view, Dave, load. Done. Right. So, Spy Rides, I think, will start. Um, oh, have they gone into... They have gone in there. Why have they gone in there? Move to senior squad. Move to senior squad. Okay. So Harry England could come in. Let's see if the old quick pick puts any of them into the lineup. It starts Spy Rides. Although it's going to give people game time because of fitness as well. So Spy Rides, it starts Matter. It starts a, a player who likes to be a striker at left back. Interesting. 
Uh, which is I don't, I don't I don't mind that we do need a left back. Johan Horst on the bench. Everett and Roberts missing out. Okay. Oh well, I'm happy to give it a go. Harry England in there as well. Um, I don't think we will. We're going to pop into um, staff. We have one recruitment day. Neil Cugley is our only sort of man in terms of where are we? So is that I think is the line us? No, the line is the average. But we're not the worst. We're not the worst. We're joint worst on that one. Joint worst on that, I think. So f we need a fitness coach, really. But we're struggling at the moment in terms of wages. So uh, if we look at this, yeah, we are currently spending 3074 And our committed is over our wage budget as well, which isn't the best. Isn't good. We're going to be losing a lot of money. So we're going to have to hope for a, some sort of cup run to get a bit of money. Um... But we're doing all right. I went basically. I went to team report to see what we've got, squad depth, and go through here. So Tearhorst, Roland, Spy rides, lots of options up front. Tearhorst, Hurd, and Jackson at right wing. Paxman, Jackson, and McCann at left, and Matter as well. Not forgetting him. Um, Hester, Evans, Dolan, and Everett can play both roles in the middle. Uh, England, Evans, and Newman can play the holding midfield role. We've got O'Mara, Davies, England, and Starkey. Uh, O'Mara as well, and Starkey as the right wing, and Josh Vincent as well. And then Madden, Nat Blanks, and uh, uh, Matter. I'm still. I'm going to call that Juan Matter so many times. And then Newcomb, Roberts, and Nicky Shaw in goal. Now Newcomb, um, I think we could upgrade him. He is only 21. He's got a lot of potential at this level, but I think we could upgrade him. We'll have to. We'll have to have a look. We'll have to have a look into that and see what we can do. Obviously, it depends. We've got. Look at this. What a ridiculous. I did that shoot my face thing and then made it into a bit more of a 3D one, but. Uh, oh, captain. We need to start thinking about captain as well. So let's have a look at um, attributes, mental, and look at leadership. So Nat Blanks, 31-year-old, could potentially be moving soon, but uh, good leadership. Next up, Ian Draycott, Callum Davies, Josh Vincent, Alfie Paxman, Newcomb. Okay, because I was thinking about maybe Tear Horse, but he is not a good leader according to this game. So I think it will probably be Callum Davies. Important player, a regular starter, at right back. Old Gillingham player, good stats as well. 26 years old, could be here for a while, I think. Um, I think, yeah, it will be Callum Davies as our... I should have kept on that. Callum Davies as our captain. And then um, maybe someone like Alfie Paxman. Or Michael Everett. He's not going to play too much, but he is, he's been around for a long time. I think it would be just nice to make him... Vice captain, I think, unless I do go for Johan Terhorst to be vice captain. Yeah, I'm not sure. Let's have a quick look at the dynamics and see. Yeah, so Terhorst is highly influential, so I think maybe making him vice captain would be quite useful. But then Everett's here, Davies and Everett are both in there as influential. Maybe Hassler as well, because he's a very good player rate for us. 26, leadership four, Terhorst leadership three. I mean, yeah, they're really not jumping out as candidates, are they? Heard leadership 7 um, and Everett leadership 11. Maybe we do go for Everett. I think we do go for Everett. A uh, Ian Draycott, he's just not, I don't think he's going to play enough to be to warrant, well, neither is Everett maybe. We'll go with Everett. He's been a stalwart. He's been around for a very long time. Um, let's go and get that done now. So captains, they have put Callum Davies there. So we are going to have, yeah, Callum Davies as uh, folks in Victor captain. And um, this will be Michael Everett. Yes. And there we go. We are actually going to end the episode there. We're not going to do two games in this episode. Just the one friendly. We'll come back for the opening league game against Chess Hut. Ch Ch Chesh Hunt. Ch 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 Chesh Hunt. Why am I struggling? These are English names in places that, I'm, that are close to where I'm from. Chess Hunt. Chess Hunt. It's got to be Chess Hunt. Who are um, semi-professional as well. Akin Diani, who sounds like he's a name I recognise. He used to play for Tottenham. Wow, okay. Um, no hot prospect though, so that's alright. Where are they predicted to finish? 13th, so they're predicted to finish below us. Obviously South London, because they're close to Enfield and Potter's Bar. But Chess Hunt will be up next in the next episode. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like. If you're new, please do subscribe. If you want to join the Patreon and get your name in the game, just let me know. But for now, I'm out. Cheers. <laughs>